Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Dead Cells. We're jumping in once again. Again, I will just preface this video by saying that I am pre-recording a few of these before... Ooh, hello. Before we um, get into some of the uh, later sort of content. Um, this is an interesting stuff. This is kind of throwing me off my train of thought. But yeah, all I'm saying is I'm just pre-recording. So there may be some comments and some things that I haven't currently replied to. Do not worry, I will get to those. But what's all this about? Hello, I just arrived here. I'm the new doctor. I've noticed been having a hard time surviving on the islands. I'm looking for new uh, guinea ooh, collaborator <laughs> to help me some experiments. These are incredible enchantments designed to make the host much stronger. Would you like to try one? Come on, it's free. I mean, I owe you that much considering that I developed them using your corp. Uh, I mean, some old stuff that I found laying around. Is that a corp stapled to that board? Oh, and come back often. I tend to develop new aspects and deliver new material. So... Okay. Warning, equipping an aspect prevents you from locking new boss cells during that run. Okay, this is pretty interesting. So, um, that, that's, a, that's a pretty cool little thing there. Like, modifiers you can add to your runs. Come closer. I won't cut you, don't worry. I'm the tailor. I can fix up some proper clothes. This game has changed a lot. <laughs> Shook a deal. In the templates now, craft it for you. Sounds good. I still need to turn down my uh, music just a little bit. I love the music in this game, but it's it's a little bit loud. There you go. Just don't want it to be too loud for the video. Get changed. So, oh okay. Um, <laughs> baguette outfit. Retro outfit, reverse burglar, winter outfit. I really like this one here. That's cool as hell. Ah, oh, so we'll be we're gonna sort of unlock new ones as we go here. That's that's really cool. I'm liking that. Okay, and then what was this little combat room then? Is this like a practice area? Apparently we can't get in there yet, but it's pretty interesting. I think this guy, this is just like the daily challenge, if I remember correctly. Uh, but anyways, let's continue on our run. We of course get a new starting weapon and uh, a random bow. We could also take a shield as well. Um, but we can put things in our backpack now as well. Got to recycle that for plus one coin, of course. And we have this big door here now as well. Was that here before? I think that's yet another thing that we require boss cells for um, later in the game. But yeah, we're going to try and do our best here and uh, not go to the Forgotten Scapula or whatever that hell that floor is called this time. But also, we are starting with a flint here, which is a very, very good weapon to start with, in my opinion at least. Will it work if I do this? Nope, it will not. Okay, it does good damage, but yeah, we can also do that, which is a nice bit of fire damage. It doesn't... It's not the best if we don't actually hit them with the contact of it itself, but... It's got very good range on it. Little bit of a slow fire rate, but all in all pretty good. We also do have the quick bow as well, which I think it's crit... Yeah. So essentially, we just fire an, uh, an obscene amount of um, about of bolts into someone, and then after the third or fourth one, we start doing crits, which I think is pretty interesting. I don't think it's that good for us right now. We might be able to play into it. Um, and I've not really got a particular thing to go for here, but survival for our flint seems like a decent idea here. We can, of course, start doing these now as well, which we haven't been able to do prior. Oh, hello. A new arrival. Rats hasn't gone to him yet. Oh, nice. We got ourselves a rusted old key and a torn up letter. Royal Gardener, with the uh, respect that I owe you, obey your orders and you'll find yourself in the stomach of these ticks. For all our sakes, this is your last warning. Signed, Commanding Caster. Hmm. Oh, okay. So we got ourselves this and we got ourselves this. Oh, I remember these. Oh, yeah, I know where we are now. This is going to end up hurting me a bit because I'm terrible at these sort of things. Yeah, we're definitely going to go this way. This is a little bit uh, more difficult, but we're definitely going to go this way. Um, I do want to explore a little bit more first because uh, we, we do we do have some time to, uh, to look around a little more. Get some more kills if possible. Get some more money, all that like a sort of good shenanigans. And get another scroll. I'm 1 minute 30 now. Okay, so we got that there. Ah, and that's just the promenade. Okay, so let's go up to there. So I haven't been to this area yet, but this is from the last seed update, if I remember correctly. 
we can get there in under two minutes and get our extra cells. It's rather nice. We still have the mod on, by the way. I know I said I was going to tweak that. I am hoping to do that at some point. But for now, I'm just going to accept the uh, the burner cells and everything. Ooh, this area looks awesome. Frost Blast. Ooh, that's interesting. Um, I think we want to go... Uh, we, we do use Frost Blast a lot, but at the same time, it is green. So we do get a nice benefit out of it. And I think it is going to be better than our burr. I do quite like the Frost Blast. And I believe... Is it the flint that I'm thinking of? Um, no, it's not. Uh, one of the other weapons that has um, the Nutcracker, I think it is, does extra damage to frozen enemies. The Royal Gardener's outfit. I like that outfit a lot, actually. I'm not going to spend too much money on outfits early on, though. The Special Sure Room. I'll not uh, the special shop in the prison cells that you'll find. All sorts of rare and expensive oddities um, for only the most experienced and discerning shoppers. Intriguing. Oh, we could also get a restock at shops. That could be pretty good. Uh, for now, let's just go with what doesn't kill me. We did actually get the root, the root grenade, actually. I, let's, let's check what that does. It's a colorless one. Oh, uh, basically, it seems like it's probably just going to be the, um, be the things that hold enemies down, but a bit better. Um, we can upgrade this, I think. 20% damage, yeah. Definitely take that. I think I'll actually, I think I'll actually leave that as it is. It's pretty good. Um, and then we'll reforge and upgrade that. I'm not going to uh, bother using much more of my money here. And then we'll take a mutation. We've got quite a few different ones to go for here. Of course, we've been unlocking some new ones as we as we carry along. Um, Heart of Ice. Attacking a frozen, stunned, or rooted enemy at close range reduces skilled cooldowns. Oh, well, this is actually very interesting with our current build. Because we do have both root and freezing. So I'm going to take that and try that out. It, you, you might find that some of the um, mutations end up being a little worse than you expected them to be. Or a little less powerful. Or a little more powerful. So I'm going to just be trying them out at the minute and seeing what we can get. Of course, going to this area is a bit of a risk because I don't really remember it. I do remember one thing though. You can go either left or right. Which is a very interesting concept for this game because that's not normally the case. Oh, this is where you find Mushroom Boys. Hell yes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, this has intrigued me. This has intrigued me greatly. I want to unlock the mushroom boy. Isn't he, like, super overpowered? It's like a little... A little mushroom dude that you can, like, carry around with you. Okay, don't attack that guy from the back, if I remember correctly. We do want to be freezing and rooting enemies whenever we can. But remember, rooting enemies doesn't actually... That dude just did an absolute play on me. I don't know if you noticed that there, but he pushed me into the spikes behind. That was kind of crazy. Oh, here's the Nutcracker. Nutcracker would actually probably be a better weapon for us right now. Um, just because we get the criticals if victims stunned, frozen, or rooted. Um, do you know what? I might come back and buy that, you know? That's actually a pretty a pretty good bargain for, for like, the skills that we need right now. Okay. Oh, we can uh, activate this. I just saw that there. And then we can recycle that. And I think we've almost got enough already, haven't we? We can teleport back to the shop anyways. I need to remember to utilize portals a little more, to be honest. I don't use them anywhere near enough. I was saying that in the last episode. I'm probably reiterating myself a bit too much here, but it's fine. It's fine. Of course, as we pick up more skills as well, um, we'll get more out of that. Ooh, that mushroom boy shield himself. You might be wondering, why did I destroy that grenade when I have an open slot? It's because I forgot. <laughs> It's because I saw it as a red item was like, we don't need red items. And was like, oh, wait, we don't actually have anything in that slot. That probably would have been perfectly fine for us to take. Now, how much is the, uh, how much is the Nutcracker? 2,950. Okay, we'll be back. We'll be back. So far, this area isn't feeling too much more difficult than the sewers, but it is mighty hecking beautiful. Beautiful. Ah, I see. The hit itself actually does give us... Um... Oh god, oh god. The hit itself, when you when we charge it up, does actually do a crit. Damn. I need to be careful here. These, these dudes, these big dudes, can hit us hard. Okay. 
Okay, got you. Like that look. Oh, okay. I'm starting to get this. Now, whoa! You see that boy get launched? That's funny. You. Finally got us off a scroll down here. The more scrolls we get as well, the more benefit we're going to be getting out of uh, some of our stuff. Didn't realize I jumped onto a plant there, like, directly. That was kind of stupid. Okay, so we can get Ice Bomb. I mean, we might as well take the Ice Bomb, right? It's going to work out quite nicely. We use the Ice Bomb a lot of the minute, but it's just because we don't have as much stuff unlocked. As we unlock more stuff, I'm sure we'll, uh, we'll change how we use things and change our builds a little more. But at the minute, this is something that goes together quite well. Yeah, there's not much we can do in here, apparently. Another law room. You can actually disable those law rooms, but I think some of them are kind of interesting. Not that I, like, utilize them all that much, but still. Morass of the Banished. I do not know what's in there. Okay, let's, let's go back and... We got ourselves a big old med kit there. Can't actually use that right now. Right, so if we want to go back, we can actually teleport back to the shop. And then, yeah, it's, it's quite a lot of money. Quite a lot of our money currently. But I actually think this is a pretty good upgrade. And we can just sort of recycle that for one. Just because it, it pairs so well with our current build. We can actually do some good critical hitting and all that sort of stuff. So we are at the morass already. I think we should maybe take our time to do some extra exploration here. Uh, we don't need to, and we've got until eight minutes, so it's just kind of like, why not? Oh, that's a big chunky hit right there. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm liking this a lot. I, I also just love the Nutcracker's weight. Like, it just feels like such a strong and powerful weapon. So, like, getting to use it. Uh, okay, and this way we can go to the ramparts. I see. Okay, so we've got a few different choices here, actually. I, I do kind of want to go to the ramparts because it's just a little safer for me, but exploring new floors is always fun. I don't want to just stick to the vanilla path. But also, I would like to get my first victory. Up to 30 kills now. E, nice one. Get another one of these. Got an elite down there. If we get all, like, all of our skills off of cooldown, I'll definitely uh, try taking him out. <laughs> we two-shot him. We heckin' two-shot him. That's kind of amazing. Right, still a little bit more to gleam over this way. I'm guessing that's where the recycle thing will go, this little glowing thingy my bob. That, the, the body's exploding into, into bits as well is proving to be very, very good. Look at that. That guy just, just... I think it's from our Ice Blast. Um, oh, no, no, no. It's from the Nutcracker, actually. It would be one-shot that dude, even. Wow. Okay, I managed to get a good amount of cells here going on. I want to try and explore everything we can here. Did you just throw one of your children at me? <laughs> I think he did. I think he just yeeted a child at me. Oh, there was an enemy there. Whoops. Let me get the uh, amethyst first. There you go. Okay, we're in a good spot now. Let's uh, be on our way. Shall we go to the other floor? Let's let's try it out at least. We, we might end up perishing, but I think exploration is kind of key here to unlocking new stuff and having a good time. We should make it just before the eight minute mark as well, which is nice. Utilized our time wisely. 
I think that's always good. Oh, wait. This one isn't the eight-minute mark. Okay. Um, we've got a lot of cells here. We could, we could go for restock. I think we'll finish off this. We'll grab that. Grab that. And then grab that. And then just put the rest into, like, restock. We did get light speed, which I kind of forgot that we'd get, to be honest. Dash forward, inflicting extra damage. Um... A dash could be interesting. I'm actually really liking the stuff we've got going on right now, though, I'll be honest. So I'm gonna I'm gonna scrap that bad boy. Um I will go for an upgrade on that. Pretty happy with that. Money's running a little low, so let's uh let's just leave it as is. And then on these. Plus twelve like twelve percent health just isn't a lot, is it? I think we go with um I don't know though, it is it is pretty good. Let's go with critical hits, reduce cooldown. Try that out. That's that. That could be pretty good with the uh, the whole root root them to freeze them and then get a critical hit on them. It's going to reduce our cooldowns by quite a lot. Right. I don't know what the morass is uh, is is quite like to be honest. It could be pretty deadly. Based on the difficulty of that last floor, though, I'm not super worried. But I probably should be. This 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 place looks gnarly. Is this a boss fight? It is a boss fight. Oh my god. Oh wait, that can't have been a boss fight. Unless I am just supremely powerful, that can't have been a boss fight. <laughs> I don't know what that was, but... Oh, I remember this place. There's got some interesting enemies on it. Yeah, I like this place a lot. We've got, like, the blow dart, guys. Ah! And it's got you dudes, too. It does have some of the later stage hard enemies, as we just saw, though. Let's keep out the way of that. That guy did briefly hit me. Oh, I see. He didn't hit me. He threw a massive spear that went through my very soul. Okay, let's let's be very careful here. Okay, so there are some pretty difficult enemies here, but I think we're well enough equipped. Oh damn. That's crazy. Another law room, but goddamn. The atmosphere in this game is incredible. Absolutely incredible. Curse chest, not triggering that. Basically, that is a chest where you've got to get so many kills without getting hit, and then you get a like you get a, you get a better reward out of it, sort of thing. But they're they're, they're pretty they're pretty risky. As you can imagine. Okay, so gotta remember, rooting an enemy does not stop them from attacking. That is something that I am routinely forgetting right now. I see you up there. Even just stunning an enemy from jumping on top of our head. Gotta remember as well, we've got our extra pouch for another weapon for our backpack. This is such an interesting build that we've got set up here. I'm loving it. Like, we're cutting our cooldowns so rapidly. Okay, let's... Let's, uh... Get on this with these dudes.
Nice. The exploding bodies is helping so much. There you go. Got you as well. Even like these smaller enemies are really good for uh, freezing, then basically like chopping our cooldown in half off of. It's kind of crazy how easily you can freeze through these bigger enemies, though. I would have expected it to be something that you can only do to small enemies. But it is most certainly not. I don't really know where I'm going here, by the way. I'm just kind of traveling upwards towards wherever the game is kind of taking me. It's kind of pushing me in a direction. Uh, it seems there's a door I missed over here, though. An entrance, at least. Okay. Oh, it's just a shop, I see. Okay, a shop. I'm not too interested in the shop, to be honest. It's fine, but I don't need it. Keep on going this way, although... Ah, we can't go this way, I see. Okay, this way requires the, the slam jump, which is fine. Okay, I've got to go around and then go down, I see. That's what this ladder's for, getting back up this way. I can't, I can't wait until we all unlock that slam. I can't remember where you unlock it now, to be honest. That was very bad. Oh my god, that might be the worst play I've ever made. <laughs> We're back to full health, though. Um, just don't let him throw the don't let him throw the the axe. The spike shield. That sounds pretty useful. Hey, another scroll. Good, good. This is what we're really looking for. Building up our power as, as heavily as possible. Gotta remember that stunning them is gonna give us those crits too. The blowgunner's outfit, nice. Kinda cool that you can get an, uh, outfits based on enemies. I wasn't expecting that. And we've uh, reached here again. Is this gonna be another one of these things? Yeah, it is. So last time this went really well. It's not really going quite the same as last time, I'll admit it. Still went pretty well though. Not quite as good as last time, but still pretty good. So those enemies we, we have to like freeze and then deal with. Ah, the slowing and thawing actually just kill some of these smaller enemies. Oh god, I did not see you in the roof there. Some of them just sneak up into the roof and you never see them. Like this guy. See you there. Got you as well. Gotta be nearing the end of this area, I think. Oh, we got something here. Certainly something. One minute. Hello. Welcome to our humble chapel, brother. Are you ready to make a sacrifice? Oh my god. Are you really feeling faithful? Prove your devotion. Protect this lost child. Pray for your salvation. Prove your devotion. Altar. Vaguely religious. These symbols seem to invoke holy maternal figure. I don't really know the sacrifice that I should be making here, I'll be honest. That's that's cool. Ooh, we're going through to the nest. Do not know what this means. This feels like it could very much be a boss fight. Am I well prepared? Am I well prepared is the question. Right, bunch more cells for you. So the spike shield seems interesting. I'm gonna grab that. Oh, we can get the heavy flask now. Are you kidding? We're one cell away. <laughs> I'll still, I'll still put all the way into it, anyways. But that's annoying that we're one cell off of that. Like, I'm not gonna take this this run just because this build is supreme right now. But that is pretty interesting. Um. Spreads to nearby enemies is pretty good. We could probably do to um do to reforge this a little bit. Fight a scroll from the dead, that's decent enough. 
And then we probably just want to go for the tried and true. Okay, it's up to 14% now. Necromancy. We know necromancy. Can't believe I was one cell off of that. So annoying. Right, through to the nest. Nest definitely sounds like somewhere where I'd find a boss. I mean, look at that thing. That, that looks like some sort of hive behind. It's going to have some horrible cre creatures. Oh, this is definitely a boss. I am ill prepared for this, but this looks awesome. Mama tick. Oh boy. Whoa, we did a lot of damage to it there though. Aha, I, I, I've kind of figured out at least a little bit kind of how it works. Doesn't mean I'm gonna be good at it. Oh, this is fucking cool. Now I'm a bit confused. I'll admit I'm a little confused. That attack didn't really provide me with a good way of dodging it, but I'll accept it for what it is. Actually not dealing that much damage to me. Oh, you're dashing. Okay, we've almost got it, actually. There you go. Wow, okay, we killed a boss. That was a pretty hard boss. An interesting one, definitely. Thoroughly enjoyed that bad boy. Um, firebrands, they're, they're interesting, but they're not... They might be firebrands, but they're not on brand for us. Um, increase movement speed. Ooh, inventory grenade. It's pretty cool, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to scrap it as well. Next level, okay. Um, oh, there you go, leave, I see. Wow, okay, that was, uh, <laughs> that was a bit scary. A little bit scary. Oh, we were 18 seconds off. We didn't get enough cells. We, we really need to save some cells for this dude, don't we? Um, but I will say I'd rather spend my single cell on this. <laughs> To unlock um, uh, the, the biggest health flask. Inflate to crit if you previously used the other claw. Sounds interesting. Might come in handy. Indeed it might. Okay, we've got the graveyard here. Ah, this one requires the wall jumping though. So we can't go to the graveyard yet. We can go up towards something. We can go back to the stilt village, which is probably a good idea. Or we can go... I love the amount of options in this game. The Fractured Shrines. Let's just go Stilt Village. It's somewhere we know. Somewhere we know. I think I think we're uh, better off staying somewhere safe. We know Stilt Village reasonably well. That was the biggest whiff of my life. I thought that it would destroy the door as it went through them. It did not. That was tragic. I will say that. That was tragic. We gotta be careful here. Those little explodey boys are deadly as hell. <laughs> Just remember, we don't have to go through all the doors here. We only have to go through the key door. Oh, we have a legendary here, apparently. Oh, that, that guy was an elite as well. I, I literally didn't even get time to notice. Um. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that. Tornado. Um, I don't really know what to think of this. It is colorless. 
Let's try it out. Let's try it out. It's legendary. So I think I think in that regard it's something worth taking. It's not as on brand, so to say. But it is still pretty interesting. Right, back out we go. I do wonder how powerful it's gonna end up being. There's our shop. Oh, it's good. <laughs> it's very good. And we're going to get the ability reasonably often, too, because uh, of all the crits we're going to be getting. Look at that damage. Dude, those explodey boys are just terrible. We managed to drop an enemy all the way down here. That's funny. Oh, hello. Mmm. Scavenge Bombard. I kind of like the idea of that. God damn, yeah. We're able to get it back so often. And it just keeps traveling too. Okay, this is nutty. I like this. But a wall secret. Oh my god, this is awesome. We have got some pretty cool build going on here. Definitely go with that. Some sort of loot in here, so we'll go for it. Kind of funny that a tornado can't pass through doors, but yeah, there you go. That is dead cells sometimes. The amount of damage this bloody thing can do. Ooh, that was a bad hit. Should not have done that while there was an enemy still there, but I did it. The whip or the toxin. We're just going to take that for the money, I guess. Not really our jam, is it? Come on now, jump up there. There you go. Okay, keep on passing through. We've got our key already. Key door should be coming up pretty soon. There you go. Ooh, that's an early scroll. Nice. Oh, God. I did not like the idea of those sitting right there next to me, so I had to uh, do something. Right, through we go. God damn. It applies poison on every hit as well, which is just obscenely powerful. I'm loving the ice blast. I've been using it in quite a few of my runs, and I just really like it. There's our key. He did manage to fire one at me there. Give him that. <laughs> okay, that's the forgotten Sepula. Uh, it's not Sepula, I realize that. I don't know what I'm saying, but that's what I remember it as. Ice Bomb? Eh, I still like my Root Grenade. The Root Grenade's pretty good. Rooting enemies down is very valuable to me. Oh my god, another scroll. I don't know if there's like a max amount of scrolls per area or if it's like truly random, but we're getting a lot right now. Boom. Boom. Give me that gemstone. Ooh, I see a secret. Give me that secret. And through we go. Next key door, there you go. And up we go. Into the clock tower. Clock tower is always the area that takes us the longest, but we didn't find it to be too difficult last time. That is one thing I was I was expecting it to be a lot harder than it was last time. Uh, yeah, a lot harder than it was last time, and it wasn't particularly bad for us. Yeah, that bomb, that 
Uh, shoots heavy cannonballs at nearby enemies, short uh, activation range, and slow rate of fire. I do want to check out this first. See what we get out of that. We'll crack that open as well, why not? Put the rest into restock. Um, makes a victim bleed, drops a grenade when destroyed. Um, it's, it's got potential, certainly. And maybe, maybe I do want to swap with my root grenade. How much of a activation time is that? 14 seconds. And I, the, the claw's cool. I'm just going to try it out for a second. Oh, I see. Whoa, this thing's mega. So let's, um... Can we not backpack it? Why can't we put that in our backpack? I'm not sure. Anyways, let's cycle, let's cycle it. Oh, I just realized we need to uh, pop them two around. Good, good. Yeah, I'm going to try this cannon out, see what it's like. Victims slow down all nearby enemies when they die. I guess that's good. Covers the gown with oil when destroyed. Yeah, let's do that. That sounds decent enough. Let's fill up our jug. Our chug jug. Goddamn horrible. Fortnite reference. That game that I don't even play and never have. <laughs> Anyways, up through the clock tower we go. Yeah, I, I kind of like the idea of this little bombardier turret. I don't know how good it's going to end up being. I also like the, the whole idea of it giving you a colorless version of the uh, item once you complete the blueprint. I think that's pretty cool. Oh gosh. It seems to be doing a bloody good job so far, I'll say that. The only thing is, now we only have the freeze to, uh, to crit our enemies with. We've got to be kind of careful with how we play this. Oh, hello. Uh, that is the powerful grenade. I like the idea of a powerful grenade. Okay. I think we got to go this way first to get the key right. If, I, I don't know if it's the same every time, I'll be honest. I'm pretty sure this is the way, yeah. Give me that. Yeah, this guy's got a star above his head. Oh, that means he drops a scroll. Wow, that's good. <laughs> I was like, hmm, what does this mean? Does that mean he's like a, a mini elite? Nope, just means he gives us a scroll of power when he dies. I can definitely get behind that. Because I think this was the way to the key, right? I don't know if there's any real way of actually knowing. There probably is. Doing great on our power up so far. It's a 12. That was a good dodge. I don't know how I managed that, but I did. Oh, the cannon. It hits hard, boys. Right, another scroll. God damn, we are scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. This freezing thing on killing enemies is super good. I'm liking that a lot. Another chest as well. The Sinu Slicer. I'm sorry, but you haven't made the cut for us right now. Take that. Crit. Get that crit. Get that crit. 
God damn, yeah, it slows down the enemy so much that they barely get time to even react when we, like, get into their vicinity. Great. Yeah, there's a blacksmith. We don't really need you. You do have another Bombardus turret, though. Not really what we're looking for. Yes, I, think this, I think this one has been an absolute bust. I don't think we found anything down there. It's a shame, because it's a dead end we didn't need to go down. But we did get a lot of cells and stuff, though, so that's not terrible. Oh, this area isn't giving us too many cells, I'll admit. I do not even know what just happened to me there. Got hit by something. Yeah, goodbye. Okay, so that's the gate. I see, that's the gate out that we just came in through, where we teleported in through. It just puts us a little higher up, it gives us a bit of a, a, bit of a head start. Then this should be the door, right? I'm gonna put that there for a sec. You did manage to hit me there, but I got the upper hand, so you're dead now. Oh, you're trying it, you're trying it. There's our 21 cells. I find it funny when those enemies just completely fail to hit you. Those enemies, however, do not fail to hit you sometimes. You need to go, sir. Dude, 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 dude. It hit me onto the level he placed the grenade on. That's not fair. I wasn't on that level and it, like, knocked me back into it. Hey, I found a secret. In the middle of all that, I found a secret. Okay, here's the key. Ow. Do you know what? We've got enough healing. Let's just go for it. Um, and then, probably want to go back down this way. Find our way back up to the actual boss, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I'm definitely noticing with this current build we're not as powerful, or at least not as we can't we don't have as much control over the enemies. But that's kind of what we gave up, so that's fine. Seems like enemies we can take off a lot of fire from ourselves from enemies shooting our turret and stuff though. Wow, he he died fast. Most things sell for a good amount as well. Yeah, I'd expect it to be up this way. Hey, in the scroll. Really going crazy now. Oh, we still don't have that tower key. It's fine, we're not expected to have that. God damn, the damage that does is insane. 666 damage from that boy. Oh, I can actually get under that. I didn't think my head would fit under that, but it does. Hey, we got some health from a secret. Nice. And there it is. We found it. Took us a little bit of time, but we got it. Into the clock tower room. Aren't they cute with their big bags on their back? What? Okay, we found this guy kind of tough the first time around. We should be okay. Powerful grenades. Easy buy. Rest into the restock. Thirteen seconds. Is it really going to do much more damage than this? I guess so, but I, I like the idea of way more of the turret. I don't know why, I just the turret seems seems cool to me. We can probably reforge the turret a little bit though. Actually, we don't really need to. We're good. We're good. And in we go. I remember you, sir. Until we meet again, and now I'm here. I don't know why I was just freezing him constantly there. That was a bad idea. Dude, this cannon is shredding him. Man, 
We annihilated that dude. Holy hell. I didn't expect the cannon to be that effective. We got ourselves a blood sword from him that we do not want. A new outfit. We did get ourselves a new root grenade, which is certainly tempting. But I really do like the setup we've got right now. It does a lot of damage. Not as defensively strong, but it does do a lot of damage. Okay, there we go. Yeah, we really need to uh, save up quite a lot for that dude. I'm sorry, dude. Breaking that door, boy. Fill that bad boy up. And away we go. So we can go to the uh, the distillery. We've got the distillery. That's the new floor. And we've got the High Peak Castle. Let's just go High Peak for now. The distillery is definitely an interesting one, I think. I don't think I've been there before, but I think I've seen screenshots. But I want to try and actually get a good run going here and try and beat the boss for the first time. And I think we have the best opportunity going this way, the way that we know. Just remember, we're trying to find the doors. We, we can probably... Um, we can probably ignore a lot of enemies, to be honest. Uh, interesting to get one of them shots straight away. There's one already. Actually, this could be a law door. This, this might not be. Yeah, this is law. I say, with it being white, I thought it might be law. Just basically don't fuck with enemies that we don't know how to fuck with. That's essentially what it comes down to. This is an enemy that looks too too much of a, a pain in the ass to deal with. Do not deal with them. To 16, nice. There we go, there's a fair star. How did they end up climbing all the way up here? I did not mean to do that in the slightest. Oh god. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Do not try and ignore those enemies. They will not let you. Okay, after that debacle. Oh, it's this dude. Annihilated. First key. Remember, we only need two keys, technically. Do you know what? No point going this way. Those big sword guys mess me up. Can't be dealing with them. Oh, dude, you can... Sh I can't shoot through that bit of wall, but you definitely can. Just remember, we've got quite a lot of healing. That's a worry too much. Ooh, hello. Wave of denial. That sounds awesome. So this dude, that, that dude is not to be fucked with in any way, shape, or form. Probably shouldn't have uh, wasted all my abilities before I had no enemies left to kill. Right, healing up again. Really shouldn't have to heal this much, but needs must. It's fine. Oh my god! The killing these enemies with this ab these abilities is so fun. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that was a lucky dodge.
I'm not quite sure what hit me there. I'm going to kill the elite to see what we got. Sadly, not much of use. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I just remembered what enemy that was. Fuck you, enemy. They're not welcome at my birthday party. Good. Right, we've actually uh, kind of come full circle here, so let's uh, take a look at where we haven't been. We haven't been down from here. Guess we try that out. That's like a little gap we've got here that we haven't been to. That guy, he gets whirlwinded. He tries to whirlwind me, I whirlwind him. That's how it goes. Okay, this is actually not that much. There's not really that much of an extra pathway here. Oh, there is something. Oh, we've actually seen this already. Just a little bit of lore. Okay, just to say we fully cleared this bit. There you go, you see? That is why we do it. I pushed him right into the wall. Good. Okay, so teleport us here. Blue door was over here, but we never went past it. I see. That's something I always forget with this. You, you'll go through a door and you'll end up somewhere else, so you won't be going past that door. There's another door here, but that isn't our door, I don't think. Whoa. Whoa there, boys. You see these guys dodging my, uh, my advances. We do have a teleport event here. I'm just going to try this out. I don't think this is what we need to do, but... I discovered you. Hey, excuse me. I wanted that cake. Give me the heckin' cake. There you go. That's all I wanted. Just wanted a simple piece of cake. Is that, is, is that too much to ask? There's our red door. This is the twins. This is the, the duo. I don't care. Wow. Talk about annihilation, all right? Okay. Head on back. Ignore everything. Out we go. And we've... I don't know if this takes us out precisely near the exit. Oh, it does, good. Yeah, I was thinking we'll do this extra one just because you get the opportunity to two extra stuffs, but mainly scroll of power. Nah, I think we'll uh, take our chances with what we've got, go to the throw room and see what we can do. Oh, Prad Journey is a key to success. Oh, my. Okay. Wave of Denial. Hell yes. Repels all nearby enemies, throws them against the wall, and they take damage. Sounds good to me. There you go. Do we actually want it now? Probably not, because we've got good stuff going on, but I like the idea. Reforge. I think we're pretty good with our forges. What's our, what's our mutation situation? I think we're pretty good. Yeah, I think we're pretty good. Throwing room. Okay. I'm not saying we'll definitely win this time, but I think we have a better chance than last time. Even though we don't have an extra life, I think our gear is much higher DPS than before. I can't remember if this boss has two, two phases or not, to be honest, though. Under the king. Oh, 
That is an elite and he's fucking pummeling me. He is pummeling me. Holy hell. I realize that, that healing while literally stood right next to him is a bad idea, but I didn't know this. It's one of these guys, fuck. I don't really know how to deal with that dude. Why are they all those elites? Fucking go away, you big fat slimy shithead. Okay, that was good damage. Honestly, the cannon is ripping his fucking health to pieces. Okay, we got him. We got him. Is, it, is there a phase two? I cannot remember. I feel like there is. Oh, nope. We're good. We're good. That's our first kill, and we get ourselves this, whatever this is. Modifies the difficulty levels uh, and unlocks the options. Nice. We also got the lance. Can break shields. Okay, I think I've got to equip this for uh, this section. Yeah. Kill that bad boy. Oh, damn. Well, there you have it. We kill him, but we die. But then we still live? Question mark? Yes, we do. We live as the slimy ball of something or other. Ooh, boss cell 5 door. Oh, damn. There you go. Up through the piping. We find our way home. Back to the prisoner's quarters. There you go. First successful run. Not too bad, not too shabby. That was a very strong run. I really like that bombardment cannon thing that we had going on there. That was really, really entertaining. It was very fun to use. Now we gotta grab that. Residual cells, 41 cells gained. And yeah, I believe now we can activate... Oh wait, normal, no boss stem cells. Ah, there you go. We can put in a, a boss cell. So boss cells, essentially, they uh, they make it they make the game just harder. Reduce the number of health fountains. Um, let's require the next boss cell. Three times more cells found on enemies. Hard mode. We'll probably activate this. Um, I don't know what you guys think about that. We'll give it a go. Um, and just up the difficulty a little bit. But anyways, we're going to leave this run here anyways and quit back to the uh, title screen. Either way, I hope you guys really enjoyed this one. I very much did so. And I'll see you guys in the next one.